Hello there. I was just eating some soft cheese and drinking some scrumpy. <laughs> what? No, it is scrumpy. It's not piss. So appley and satisfying in my tummy space. Don't worry, though. Um, this is my house. In fact, I don't even know where I am anymore. <laughs> I mean, I don't need a plastic piece of bread. Anyway, don't we just love things when it's free? The apple juice is free. The cheese is free. And these are free. Welcome to the new channel, guys. Anyway, welcome to my brand new spanking an old woman while she walks past you at the bus stop never before seen channel. And to kick off the top 10 free to play games on PC ever. Enjoy. Great, mm. Jay At number 10, it's One Chance. A game where your main objective is to save the world. You've created a cure for cancer, so well done. I mean, your character, by the way, not you, actually. I mean, no one creates anything sitting there watching Honey Boo Boo while eating Tracy Poofs. I can see you. I mean, come on. And hey, did you hear all that about Mama June? What a bitch. What? Oh, oh yeah. So you've created a cure for cancer. But then it turns out it's just an apocalyptic style plague and everything will die in six days. Nice going. Tit. It's a great little game. Whatever you decide to do within the game will affect the actual ending. So it's really interesting. So whatever you do will affect the ending of the game. A little bit like if you went back in time and showed you Willy to Napoleon. And what would that be like? Hey Napoleon, look at my Willy. The only downside is once you have completed it, <clears throat> uh, that's it. You can't play it ever again. The game will recognize that you've already played it and that's it. Forget about it. Walk away. Start to live a new life. On an island, maybe. With a small Indian boy who you would name Hoju. Bit shit. In at number nine is Quop. You are an Irish runner. You've been at the Guinness and can't seem to stand up straight. Either that, or you are Stephen Hawking's brother. This is him. That's not the only thing. Anyway, press a bunch of buttons and watch him fall on his face. Constantly. I've fallen loads on my head. And my brain is still... Good. And at number eight is Pokemon, the uncensored version. Imagine, like, My Little Pony, but instead of Rainbow Dash, it was gigantic Wangle Dongle. Or something ruder. Cock! Like this is a pretty good emulation of the Pokemon games of old, but filled with unnecessary swear words, sex references, and a naked misty. Mm, pixelated boobies. It is completely playable and full length, and you can build up your Pokemon's levels and earn badges. Just don't tell your mum. <laughs> Piss flaps. What? <laughs> In at number seven is Super Crate Box. It's a classic Mario-style game with exceptionally heavy weapons. It's fast, furious, and very polished. Oh yeah, and it's free. Number six. Team Fortress 2 from Valve is as old as this cheese. All these, what? What the fuck is that? Run around twatting people and choose your class to give you advantage to do this. You can be a spy, you can be this guy, you can be this guy, you can be that guy, but you most definitely cannot be this guy. This guy has nothing to do with the game. He's just got a lovely face. Look at his tiny face. The problem with this game is exactly the same as Call of Duty though. Full of pros and being a noob is absolutely terrifying. It's like walking into a big bodybuilder shower room with your tinkle out. And number five, we have Towns of Salem. Meet in the square and accuse each other of shit. You farted! This game is for between seven and 15 players, and the object is to lie and convince people it wasn't you. You think I farted? Meow. Have you ever wanted to shoot a German in the face? Well, I have, last year, in Spain, over a sun lounger. 
But if you don't have time to do that, or not able to do that, don't worry, because the next game, War Thunder, will most definitely be a good substitute. Get in a plane, get in a tank, shoot the fuck out of people! A massively multiplayer dogfight and tank battle across a vast map. The game gives you a high octane experience. You can fly anything from this piece of shit to this insanely awesome looking plane. The awesome thing about this game is that the two different battles come together. Different to World of Tanks where you are just tanks, tanking around shooting people in the tanky base. In this game, you can be planes and you can interact with the tanks on the ground, using your plane to blow the shit out of those as well. That makes it so much more fun. At number three, it's Cry of Fear from developers team Sykeskalia. I don't know. I think they're Swedish. It's over two and a half years old, but it still has a lot to give, mostly scares to your face hold. It uses the Half-Life engine, it is a dark and fear-inducing horror romp, and it's nine chapters long. Not bad for free. Remember, I said free, people. Warning. This game contains lots of jump scares, and not bad ones, not like really shitty ones, but good ones, and posh ones too. Here is an example of a posh jump scare. Boo. What? <laughs> In at number two is SCP Containment Breach. It's evil! The main protagonist is this guy. Yep, that's right, he looks like a sort of weird gingerbread man that you let this guy decorate. I wouldn't let him decorate anything. But when all the lights go out, oh dear, you are a test subject sent in on a routine job to be killed. <laughs> and it all goes wrong. Not for you though, you're still alive. Now completely unarmed, you must escape the compound, but as well as Freaky Freakison, that's this guy I don't remember, not him, there is a host of other similar psycho creatures want to explore your organs. And now, the ultimate free game to get right now, this second do it! Number one is Slenderman the Eight Pages. The most basic and most terrifying indie game of all time. Why you're here, I don't know. Why you want to collect eight shit drawings, no idea. But, fucking hell. The game works at a very, very simple pace. You start off in a dark wood, and nothing is coming after you. If you don't pick a page up within the first five minutes, then he will come after you anyway. It's like he's standing behind a tree going, for fuck's sake, dude, just pick a paper up. Oh, fuck it, I'm going to kill you anyway. He follows you and taunts you. He'll stop in your vision every now and again, and it reminds me a little bit of the first Halloween movie. The game moves along at quite a creepy pace. Sometimes you can spend absolutely ages walking through the woods, and other times you're literally dead within the first few minutes. But the object is to collect all eight pages and he should go away. Right? I don't know, because I've never collected all eight pages. But maybe you can give it a go and let me know. So there you go, 10 free games. Check them out, see for yourself. I'm going to leave the link for every single game down here. Um, <clears throat> thank you very much for joining me on this new channel called Bytes. Eventually there's going to be a website dedicated to this very channel. And all the artwork I create is mine. I do the artwork. Um... Thank you very much for everyone who's moved from Phil Anonymous to Bites. Hello, all of you again. Please feel free to comment, share me like a small box of chocolates to all your friends, and that would be a wonderful feeling and make me feel all flattery inside. Also, if you want me to do another video, anything, my top 10 of anything, or my top something, or a game walkthrough, the idea is I want to start a walkthrough. Do you want to scare a game or something? And let's go into that, but a proper review of a game. Um, thanks very much for everyone joining me today, and I'll see you in the next video. It's time for the slice, guys. Let's bring that back. Slice, everybody. See you later. Bye.